Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate the Microsoft Certificate Server with the Utimarco Crypto Server HSM. Let us start by installing the Utimarco HSM Simulator, which is a fully functioning HSM running in software emulation mode. As you can see, I have the security server software already copied to my desktop and will now run the setup wizard. I will choose the default folders, Crypto Server Simulator, and the interface is CSP and CNG. Save the shortcuts and create a desktop shortcut. Press install and wait for the installation to complete successfully. The setup is now complete and I will choose not to launch the crypto server administration. I will press finish And we can now see we have two icons on the desktop, one to stop and start the simulator and the other to administer the HSM using the Crypto Server Administration Tool, or CAT for short. As part of the installation, an API configuration file is automatically created and written to the program data directory. This directory is normally hidden by default and your environment variable should be checked to ensure that there is a path pointing to this file. To find this file, we will open File Explorer, this PC, go to Local Disk and under the tab View, we tick the Hidden Items option, Program Data, Utimarco and CNG. I will open the configuration file with a text editor preferably Notepad or Notepad++. This editable text configuration file contains settings for logging, whether an internal or external key database is used, and various network connection parameters. However, we're going to concentrate on the main settings necessary for our installation. We need to identify the IP address of the HSM being used, which is in this case the loopback address of this machine and the TCP port used by the simulator, which is always 3001. We will now specify the authentication credentials used by the HSM by any application or administrative utility. There are a number of mechanisms available but we are going to use a simple username and password. We can also input a CXI group. This enables us to specify which users can access which keys. I'm going to specify a CXI group of test CA. The entries that we have just configured will be used by any application or administration utility to log in and use the HSM. The user that we have just specified now has to be created in the user database itself. To create this user, we will use the Crypto Server Administration tool. But before we do that, we have to start the simulator. Now that the simulator is running, I will open the Crypto Server Administration tool. We have to add the device that we are connecting to and again we will use the loopback address and the simulator port as before. We will test the connectivity and prove we have the connection to the HSM. We can check the status of the HSM and see it is operational. Before we can do anything, we have to log in into the HSM using the default user called admin which has the combined roles of System Manager and User Manager. This user is identified by a key file that comes as part of the installation and this key file has no PIN. Now that we have logged in as admin, we can go to the Manage User tool and add the user that we have just defined in the configuration file. The name of the user was Test. This user will have the profile of a cryptographic user 
and it will be identified by a password. If you remember, this user was in the CXI group called TestCA. We will press OK and the specified password for the user test was 123456. We can now see that the database has two entries, the test user that we have just created and the default admin user. We have now configured our HSM and it is prepared and ready for the installation of the application. And to do this, we will use the Windows Server Manager tool. We are using a local server and we want to add a role. The role we want to add is a certificate server. The role we want to use is the certificate authority. There are various elements we can add, but we are just going to go with the basic installation. Now that the installation is complete, we have to carry out our detailed configuration. We are configuring the certificate authority. We are going to choose Enterprise CA, Root CA, and we are going to choose to create a new private key as opposed to the integration guide where we used an existing private key. Because we have installed the Utimaco cryptographic API and edited the configuration file, in addition, to the default Microsoft cryptographic providers, Utimaco providers are also available. We will select the RSA Utimaco crypto server key storage provider with a 2048 bit key with a SHA-256 as the hashing algorithm. And we now have the confirmation that the configuration has been successful. To test the certificate server, we will go to the administrative tools, choose the certification authority and see that we can stop it and start it successfully. In order to prove that the root private key used by the certificate authority is in the HSM, we simply have to stop the simulator. We then try to stop and start the certificate authority. When we try to start the certificate authority with the simulator stopped, we will not be able to do so because the key will not be available. We will now restart the simulator and we can start the certificate authority successfully as the key is again available. We can view the key that is on the HSM by using the command line tool called CNG tool. I will run CMD and input the command cng tool list keys. The list keys command shows us that we have an RSA 2048-bit key pair under the group test CA, which is stored internally on the Utimaco HSM. It should be noted that this utility is also using the login parameters defined in the configuration file. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you for watching a Crea Plus integration guide with an Utimaco crypto server.